I'm here with uh, Diego Vanui, the winner of the half distance, uh, uh, three times, uh, not in a row, in a row, Diego? in a row. In a row. Uh, as you know, Diego uh, suffered uh, like a serious accident. He, he recovered, he came back, now he's racing the full distance. And uh, Diego, uh, let's maybe talk a little, bit, a little by, a bit about the expectations. What are you expecting? Are you going to race off the front? All the race? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trained uh, very well the last months, so I expect to be good already, but uh, uh, it would be uh, very strange if I would compete for the win because after uh, what happened with me, but uh, aiming for the first position is always my dream and my goal and let's try to do it even wh with what happened in the past. So. Uh, I go for it. If I if I remember correctly, before the accident, I think in the uh, in the Ironman uh, circuit, you were one of the strongest runners. You won had one of the strongest runs, and then you had the great times, two forty something marathons for forty low forties. Do you think your run ability uh, is still there? Uh, so I started again after one year, no no run and no swim in August with running and then I did the uh, inscription for the Marathon of Malaga which was uh, 11 December and I finished in 2 hours 32 without not too much training so I think my run is it's there. okay already and, uh, What about the bike? Uh, bike? Uh, I did uh, 5 weeks of 600 uh, km average a week so normally it would be good too <laughs> only for the swim I will have a disadvantage already, so I will come from the back, that's sure, because I, I still have a screw in my neck, and it, it's, it, uh, it, it uh, stops me a bit, but it's impossible to look 100% in front, so I need to focus a bit on the boys that I don't make too much meters, and uh, I make progression, but uh, on the swim it gets uh, slow. So, but it seems like you're in good in a good shape. Yeah, sure. And uh, regarding nutrition, you have some uh, some special plan, maybe. Uh, on the bike, I I do my front bottle is uh, like a, an aero bottle, and I put there 20 gels inside from 24 Tw uh, 20, carbs. 20 gels. Yeah, 20 gels. I push all out because I don't want to have a, like a fine for littering. So they are all in this, and on the bike. After my 5 hours 20 or something bike, it needs to be empty and then I'm sure I, I'm, I will not have a fatigue on the, on the run. And extra I push, I have a specialized shift bike, so in the end of my uh, saddle I have like a special uh, yeah, bazin where I can put 2 liters hydram, uh, isotonic drink, so each aid station that they handle as a bottle, I I take it, I do as much as I can in my mouth, I throw it away and the other part where there's no aid station, I do the drink back on my saddle. So and then on the run, normally the plan is every 6 km I try to use a gel. And then 6, 12, 18, 24, 30 and then I, I use from the organization. So I, will, I never had the fatigue before. Nice. And uh, regarding uh, tactics, uh, it's not your first day here. As we yeah. said, you've you already been here. Maybe you, you've met some people. Have you talked to any maybe other competitors about the, maybe working together or having no. some tactics? I think in this race, this is one of the fairest, uh, the, the most fair races in the world. I think here is like impossible to, to draft. And I know I'm coming from the back after the swim, so I only need to do my own race, not looking to nobody. I can say hi to someone if I if I pass him, but uh, I just I just push on my limits that I don't overreach in my limits, so I can still run maybe 245 marathon, which is my objective always. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know from the half distance. You can say, oh, it's an easy run, but I, I want to invite people to come to here and do the all of distance or the pool. And then say me how the feel, how the legs are feeling after the 11 kilometer downhill. <laughs> because afterwards, for me, 
but it's like normally I'm used to run like one hour eight, one hour nine, but I can't push three ten, three fifteen anymore on the flat because my my quadriceps are yeah. totally destroyed <laughs> after the. So now is the full distance. So I I'm I'm coming down destroyed maybe. And then uh, I have still 30 kilometers to go, so we will see how suffering, uh, how much we, we suffer from it. But I think it's for everyone, and uh, I hope we have a lot of finishes tomorrow also, because uh, I think I'm a good example for uh, that giving up is not uh, an, op uh, an option. And uh, I, I hope I can inspire people also with my story after my crash and, uh, and my fractures and my three surgeries and that uh, there are no human limits yet and uh, you need to try to knock again to where you were before and this is my goal always. Great Diego, thank you and we will wish you best luck tomorrow. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank Todo you. Raba.